Talk about a big week for Spartanburg County. 25th anniversary of BMW's announcement that the automaker was coming to the county. And council members also announced this week four companies are making some big steps a lot closer to setting up shop in Spartanburg County. And another one is looking to expand, creating 420 new jobs. It feels like it was yesterday. Councilman David Britt showed us a file that dates back 25 years this week, documenting the day BMW came to town. It's like hearing a helicopter over you while you're out in the ocean, there's hope that I'm going to be saved and Spartanburg's going to be saved. At the time, Spartanburg County had lost 25,000 jobs as textile plants dried up. BMW initially committed to a $300 million investment with 2,000 jobs and nine suppliers. Today, they've invested $9 billion, 9,000 jobs, and there are over 40 suppliers. And they keep coming. This week, council announced five companies are looking to set up or expand in Spartanburg County, bringing 420 new jobs all manufacturing. They have code names like Project Royale and Project Flex NIA. Companies that have nothing to do with, with the automotive, they come here in droves because of you know, our reputation. BMW's flag is flying so high that the world sees it. And Britt says there's one more silver bullet that no other county has. The entire facility is 363,000 square feet. Mike Forrester at Spartanburg Community College heads the Center for Business and Entrepreneurial Development. We can help hire the people, we can train the people, and we can provide office space, warehouse space, manufacturing space for the companies. So it's a great game changer. An economic impact study of this center found that in the last decade, it's created 20,000 jobs, more than a billion dollars in earnings, and 70 million in tax revenue. As for BMW's impact, Brick credits the automaker with attracting 45,000 jobs and 16 billion in investments since it came here in 1992. They are the gift that keeps on giving. They truly are the golden goose. Now, as for the new jobs, 60% are in the plant, 40% in the office, like engineering and finance. The county can't disclose the exact wages since that's up to the companies, but Councilman Britt says they all pay competitively and will help improve the per capita income level in Spartanburg.